All right, guys. So I thought it would be really cool to show the difference and some types of wasps that we have here in Texas. I mean, we have them everywhere, but we happen to be in Texas. Um, you'll see in the upper part of the screen, this is a paper wasp nest. So it's made out of paper, as you can tell, probably. And these are social wasps. Now they're social because a bunch of wasps live together. So you see that right there, kind of cool. I know we talked about this in a, another episode, but um, they chew up paper with their little mouth parts and then they spit them out and they make these cool little shapes. So that is cool. But then this other one that we have, actually there's two of them, these other ones, these are solitary wasps. Now solitary, solitary means that they're all by themselves. So it's just one wasp per nest. So as you can see in this one, it's already been broken up, but they also have these little cells just like they do in the paper wasp nest. But these are a different type of wasp. Isn't that cool? Super cool. So I thought this one was really neat because it looks like it's a dirt dauber, which is this type of nest right here. You see these holes in here. You see these holes in here. That is where the baby wasps, once they um, became adults, they emerged from their cells. Now this is a different type of wasp made a nest on top of the dirt dauber nest. Like, how funny is that? Well, that's one of the other solitary wasps. I just think it's really cool that it decided it was gonna build a nest on top of an old nest. But if you see the hole in that one, that also is where the larvae have come out after they've pupated and became adults, which I think is cool. So there's some differences between solitary between solitary and um, social wasps. So as we went, went over before, social wasps all hang out together and they make these, the paper wasps that are social, make these cool little paper nests. They consist of a bunch of paper cells together. And you see all these that kind of have these little flaps on them. They look like they were full. Well, they were. They had little baby uh, wasp larvae in there, and then they pupated. Like, it looks like this one didn't come out right here. So there is a wasp pupae still in there. I don't know if it's alive, probably not, considering all of these have already hatched, but that's what they look like when they're pupated. They're actually open with little, almost like grub-like worm like larva open and the adult wasps will go and catch like flies and caterpillars um, and other small insects and they will actually feed the grubs in these open cells and when they've had enough food enough energy they will pupate and they'll cover the cell and then we just wait which is kind of cool so now you have to take a little look at that amazing engineering so that's super cool now the thing about solitary wasps we talked about there's one adult wasp per nest and oops, and they by themselves laid their eggs in these cool little mud tubes or mud nests usually um, so they're what we call parasitoids. Now what's a parasitoid? A parasitoid is an insect that will capture some kind of prey. It could be a spider, it could be a caterpillar, it could be something else. Um, they paralyze it with their venom. They don't kill it, they just paralyze it. So they put it in kind of like a stasis, like a pause. 
and then they lay an egg on top of it and that egg will develop into a larva that actually eats whatever kind of prey that are in their nest. So it eats whatever kind of prey in its nest, it eats it alive, which is crazy to me. So a lot of dirt daubers, um, they, they prey on spiders. So sometimes we'll call them spider wasps. So if you hear that, um, we're talking about a solitary wasp. And a lot of them are very specific to certain spiders. Um, we have quite a few here that really like um, the widow spiders. So I don't know what type of nest this is. We may cut it up in a minute and see. And we're not gonna harm anything because they've already hatched. All right, guys, so I cut open the dauber nest. And as you can see, there's these little cells where the larva would have been. So that's one of those holes opened up. And I don't know if you can tell this stuff right here. It looks like these were remnants of a pupil case of some kind, which is kind of cool. And then most likely, if you'll see in there, are most likely remnants of prey of some kind, which is kind of cool. And that's about the depth of one of these chambers. Now I can't tell what kind of prey that they had in here, but it is super cool. Now, how do um, adult solitary wasps make these little mud chambers? So I don't know if you'll ever see if there's any blank ground in your yard um, and it rains, you'll have like these little puddles, these little mud pits, and you'll see quite a bit, quite a few wasps um, going, going to those little mud pits and they collect the mud or clay or whatever with their mouth parts and they fly back and they literally make these with their little mouths, which is kind of cool. It takes them a little while. And then when they're done, then they will collect their prey. They will put one prey in each cell with one egg that they lay. Then they'll seal it up and they'll wait for their babies to turn into larva and then pupate. So, which is pretty cool. All right. It's only the larva that actually eat the insects. So adult wasps are pollinators, and we talked about pollinators. They're kind of like, like bees are pollinators, butterflies are pollinators. Anything that transfers pollen from one plant to another is a pollinator. So adult wasps, they can't eat insects the way the larva can at all. <laughs> the only the larva can. And so they only have, they can only have a liquid diet because they don't have the mouth parts for chewing at least in that way. So they'll eat nectar and they get pollen on them and they transfer them to other plants and therefore they are pollinators. So pretty cool. All right, so let's review one more time. These are the solitary wasps. Remember one adult per nest. I mean, there's exceptions to every rule in science um, because potter wasps sometimes will have male parental, um, like the, the, the male parent will care for some of the young, but that is not common. And then, so those are the solitary. So one adult per nest. Now these are the social wasps. Remember so social means they like to get together. Um, and this is a paper wasp nest. It's one of the social wasps. And this means that there's many, more than one, many, adults per nest. So it's kind of like a big family that takes care of all the babies. So pretty cool. And both of them use their mouth and their saliva to turn everyday things into these cool little nests, which is awesome. So there you go. All right. That's all for me today. Thanks for coming and visiting. Bye.